Woman stabs her ex-husband in self-defense, then posts a selfie with him bleeding in the background, captioned, I am a beast. Hello, it's Blue Orange 22. So I just saw the story and I wanted to make a quick video about it because it's another example of domestic violence against men. Serious domestic violence against men, as you can see from the picture. This is another example of a woman literally stabbing her husband or boyfriend, attempted murder, and not really getting a serious punishment for it. Because as you'll see from the article, she did not go to jail. She was sentenced to home detention, which in America is what's called house arrest. Viore, who was allowed to serve her detention at home to care for the ex-couple's two-year-old child, posted to her friends, Guys, I stabbed my ex-husband with a knife. So first of all, not only is she basically bragging about stabbing her husband, she didn't go to jail for it. Which you can imagine already, the gender's being reversed. Imagine a husband stabbing his wife. There's no question he'd be sentenced to many years in jail. But she is still looking after the child. That kind of parent who would do that kind of thing is still looking after the child. Now in the article, she's claiming self-defense, but there's no evidence or physical signs at all that she was actually being strangled, which is what she says in the article. And the thing is, think about this. If the genders were reversed, imagine if a man stabbed a woman and then took a picture of her when she was bleeding on the floor and then made a post about it on social media, laughing about it, and then said, oh, she was strangling me. What do you think the consequences would have been? Do you think he would have been sent into the house arrest or do you think he would have been sent to prison for many, many years? This is showing the double standard that exists against men. Women are literally allowed to stab men. Women are literally allowed to commit attempted murder against men and they don't even go to jail for it. They just get house arrest. If you ask me, that's pretty scary. I mean, just look at the picture again. I mean, just look at that picture. He's sitting on the floor, terrified, bleeding. And look at how much blood he's lost. That's an extremely serious injury. And she's laughing about it. She took a picture of that and posted it on social media and was laughing about it. And she didn't go to jail for it. Just imagine if the genders were reversed. This is the kind of thing MRAs are talking about. This is what happens when feminism starts to influence the government and starts to influence laws. Women are literally allowed to stab men and laugh about it and they don't even go to jail. In my opinion, that's very scary.